Hey, today I'm going to show you how to change your uh, pull cord um, on a steel TS400 partner saw, uh, cutoff saw, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is an older unit, but the process is going to be the same and real similar to chainsaws and things also. Um, so really all you're going to need, you can use the tool that they provide you that's the star bit. Um, or um, you can use an impact like I'm going to do. Uh, because what's nice about most steel equipment is almost the whole units are put together with this star bit So I really like that because you can work on anything with that um, This is the elasto start version uh, Basically what it means is inside the pull handle here. There's a spring unit um, And on this one actually the rubber piece here broke off. So that's why we're going to fix this um, but this, I looked on eBay in different spots, you know, they wanted $30, $40 for this, you know. I actually went right to the dealer up the road, and I got this. It was $15 or $16. So, and it was available and in stock. So I grabbed it. Obviously, it's the right choice. Use the uh, OEM uh, steel stuff to change it with. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do, it's pretty simple. Uh, we're going to, you know, take this off so I get my water connection out of the way. Then we're going to take off the cover for the recoil, uh, and then we're going to wind it and put the new rope on. So here we go. So now you see we've got this out. The recoil on this one still works. Um, just the handle component here broke. Uh, so in this situation, um, we're going to just pull this out. And we're going to hold this in place. Let me show you how I like to do that. So now I've got it clamped like this. Now I'm going to pull the rope out. Now what I will say is if your starter rope is broken here and it's already unraveled, uh, what you'll need to do is the easiest thing to do with that situation is to put your rope through the hole. And where that little notch is right there, um, you can use your rope to twist it around. Uh, the other option is you can use a screwdriver and put in that hole and twist your starter thing around approximately six times before you put your new rope through. I'm going to take the old rope and I'm going to cut it off here. And you see I've used some electrical tape. I'm going to put it through there. Now I'm going to pull the old rope out through the hole. I'm just going to tie a knot on the end. I'm going to pull it back through to this spot. Tuck the knot in there. So 
just like so. Now I'm going to let this rewind slowly back in. And we've got the new pull handle on. So now we're just going to pop this guy back on again. And we're going to be finished. Uh, so that is how you change the recoil starter, uh, the pull rope on a steel TS400 partner saw. Obviously, I'm just going to put this back in those four screws and I'm done. So hopefully that's uh, helped you out. Um, you know, this little trick when you're doing a recoil with some um, electrical tape will help you get it through the hole very quickly and easily. Uh, so uh, hopefully that's helped. Watch my videos and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. All done.